Uh, I first became interested in STEM, I think, when I was born. <laughs> I think I was born an engineer. I remember when I was about seven years old, finding my brother's transistor radio and opening up in the back and just seeing all this stuff back there. And I, I started thinking, well, what would happen if I cut the wires? And so I cut the wires. And I think that's when an engineer was born. I remember wiring up the phones. If you remember the old phones that you have to plug into a jack. I, we had a phone that had wires hanging out and I matched the wires of the phone hanging out to the wires on the jack and I, I wired them up and I got a dial tone on the phone so I could sneak in the back in the den and, and make a phone call to my boyfriends. None of my siblings knew. And so I just, I think that it was always in my nature. I've always been very curious about how things work. Um, and so that's why I say I think I was born an engineer. I took my interest in STEM and, and actually through a program called Inroads, I was able to understand how I could take my love of taking things apart and wanting to know how things worked. And, uh, and my natural love of math and science and parlay into a career in electrical engineering. Um, Enrolls is a program for um, minorities and African American women. And uh, through that program, they taught me all about engineering and what engineers do. And, and that's how I parlayed all that love of what I do into a career in electrical engineering. Some of the challenges I faced along the way, and I'll start with when I was a student, was uh, the career work. Uh, engineering is hard. I, I had to study a lot, and sometimes I had a little bit of self-doubt in myself about if I could accomplish something. And in my career, I've sometimes had people that doubted me, and so I've had to prove myself to people in my career field. When I look back at my career highlights, I'm most proud of. One of them is participating in 53 successful space launches and landings as a rocket scientist. The second one was getting to fly in space and help, helping to build the International Space Station. And the last one, uh, I, it was just a recent occurrence. I was at an event and they, I introduced myself to a young lady and she says, I know who you are. And I thought she was gonna say, you're an astronaut, I've read about you, but she says, you're on my vision board. And that just blew me away. I was very humbled by that. And so if I've done something and someone could view me as a role model, to me, that's pretty incredible. So simulation training is huge and it played a, a vital role in my career as a, an astronaut. Before we hop on that shuttle, we are trained at nauseum on everything that we're going to do during our entire mission. And we use a training simulator as the way to become competent. So there are different models. We start with a very low fidelity model uh, and then you graduate to something that actually has motion like the shuttle. And by the time you get to, to shuttle, you are so trained that you can work problems literally in your sleep. Uh, we had some problems occur and it was just like magic. You start flipping the switches and you know what to do. The hardest thing in space was not working problems. The hardest things were like brushing your teeth. <laughs> so had we been trained on brushing our teeth in space, maybe that would have gone a little bit better. <laughs> Looking at the industry today, there is a lot of cool stuff happening. There's not one thing that's more exciting than the other. So we're going to the moon again and hopefully on to Mars. We're trying to put the first woman on Mars and we have unmanned aerial vehicles. There's just so much cool stuff happening. I don't know how I could pick just one. Some advice that I'd have for young women who are looking to pursue a career in STEM is the first thing is to have confidence in yourself. Um, there will be enough people that will doubt you, so you don't need to be one of them. Be very confident in your sec yourself. The second thing is, is to, uh, to study hard. Like I said, engineering was hard for me and I had to study. Uh, so if you put the work in, I think it'll, you will be rewarded handsomely. And the third thing is to have fun. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, then you are definitely in the wrong career field.